Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 285. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 285 to 294. Hey, in this trick, we want to talk about markup formula. We want to calculate the selling price, and we know our cost, and we know our ma markup on sell price. So from these two bits of information, markup on sell price and cost, can we calculate sell price? You bet. Uh, this is the whole or the base or the total. When you're talking about sell, markup on sell price, you're talking about a certain percentage. So right here, 60% markup, that means out of every dollar, 60 cents goes to markup or profit and 40 cents goes to cost. So if you know cost and the markup on sell price, you can use this formula right here. If you know the uh, percent formula, um, part equals base times rate, then anytime you have an associated part and an associated rate, you divide the two to get the, the base of the total. So that's the formula we're going to use here. Whatever the cost is divided by Oh, but wait a second. This is the sell price markup. We want the cost markup, the, the cost percent, which means we do 1 minus this. That's why this formula is cost divided by 1 minus whatever the markup on sell price is. So let's build our formula here. And notice we have some variables here, the cost, and the markups across the top. And we want a table that will give us all the prices at the different markups. Now, because we've set it up this way, we can just do one formula and copy it to all the cells. Now watch this. Equals our cost divided by, in parentheses, 1 minus our markup on sell price. Now that formula will not work throughout the table unless we um, change the cell references. This B4 right here, when we copy the formula down, we want it to move relatively, so it's always looking at a price. But when you go this way, copy it this way, we need it locked on the column. So with my cursor in the middle of the B4, I hit my F4 key one, two, three times. Locked only across the column, but not the row. The opposite is true here when we want copy this formula down, we want it locked on our 50%. But when we move to the column, we want it to move not, not sticking on C column, but move to the uh, D column. So here we want a dollar sign in front of the row reference, so it's locked going down, but not to the side. I'm going to control enter, and then I'm going to point to my fill handle and click and drag. And now I'm going to go to the last cell, the furthest uh, diagonally away from where I started, and hit F2. And it looks like, wow, that got it right. So that's a quick way to do your sell price given cost and markup on sell price. Now let's do a formula over here for profit. Here's our profit right here. Now I'm going to, same thing here, we have one formula going to, into all these cells. But instead of creating the formula here and copying it down and over, I'm going to highlight all of the cells, because if you have a bunch of cells highlighted, you can put the same thing into all of them simultaneously. The trick here is be sure the active cell is where you are building your formula. All right, so here it is. We're going to build our formula. We want profit equals, oh, our cost minus our uh, sell price. Oops, I'm sorry. It's the reverse. That would be terrible. Whatever our sell price is minus our cost. Now we got to think about this. We want one formula that will work in all cells. But look at this. This uh, C4 here, which is price, there's a price for every single one of these cells. Same here. So that's a relative cell reference. But what about B4? That's the cost. When we're going ac um, across the columns here, we want it locked on the, the cost 275. But when we go down, we don't want it locked. We want it to move to the 125. So I'm going to put my cursor in the B4 and hit my, cursor, my F4 key one, two, three times, locking the column, but not the row. Now, because I've highlighted all the cells in advance and the formula needs to go into all of the cells, I hold Control and tap Enter. And so there you go. There's a little uh, nice little table for June's furniture price schedule. We did uh, a markup uh, cost and markup on sell price formula to calculate sell price and then a formula for our profit. Hey, anyway, we better check that one there, see if it got it right. Uh, yes, it did. All right, we'll see you next trick.